Hey everybody, this is Lav Series, and if you're just tuning in, we are currently playing Final Fantasy VII. Uh, in the last episode, we had made it to the 64th floor of the Shinra building. Um, we made our trek up a ways. Um, we also nailed the Turtle Paradise Flyer number two, and got a couple of more key items, as well as a new materia. And we're on our way to rescue Eris. Um, good thing to note here. You want to check this room out. You don't have to talk to anybody. But you do want to check out these vendor vending machines. They will pay off later. Nothing. Uh, bang on it. I'm not sure if... Just something to do for later when we come back to the uh, mid uh, Shimmer building. Um, first locker will contain a phoenix down. That was kind of lucky. Second is an ether. A megaphone. A good thing to um, make a mental note of. This is a character's best weapon. Uh, we will get that character as we progress through the game, but again, just make a mental note of it. Alright, and now we're heading up to floor 65. Oh boy. Alright, this is pretty much, you go into here and you have to fill in the pieces. And you can only get these pieces one at a time. It's a little irritating. Alright. We're gonna... Go ahead and... There we go. Oh, I love Blade Beam. run back to this room and it doesn't matter where you put these pieces the chests are gonna open in the same order every time so just for simplicity's sake I'm just gonna get the furthest ones out of the way and yes you will encounter monsters on this level Not the monsters I particularly want to fight right now. Um, I'm looking for two in particular. Um, both of them, each one rather, yields uh, an armor piece and a weapon for Cloud. Armor for anybody else, but I really want that weapon. Saves me a couple grand. this one. Wait, no? Oh yeah, it's the one all the way up here. Ugh, this track. There. Okay. It's been a while since I've done this part of the game, so... And once more... Oh! Here is one of the enemies that we do want, I think. Wait, no way, it's not. Uh, let me try. Uh, maybe it is, I don't think so. Never mind, no it's not. Eh, oh well. At least I got a free item. Woohoo! No, I think the what enemy we're looking for, I believe, is called the motorball. 
or something. It's a little robot with a spiky ball. Yeah, you steal the carbon bangles. Come on. Really? Thank you. Carbon bangles from those. And at a later point, you'll fight Shinra or uh, soldier rank 3 people. And if you get a successful steal from them, you get the hard edge for Cloud. Nice upgrade at this point of the game. Again, it saves you from having to buy it later. It's all about saving that money, though. Alright, key card to 466. That's the whole purpose of doing that little puzzle. Okay, here we go. It looks like the executives are going into a board meeting, so in order to do listen in, we want to go in here. Uh, climb up. And we're going to eavesdrop a little bit and see what exactly they're talking about. I'm talking about the damages to Sector 7. Oh! President's like, GTFO with that kind of talk, yo. Oh wow. Raising taxes? You greedy bastard. Wow. Ignorant citizens. Oh god, it's that character. I hate his laugh. It's almost as obnoxious as a, a certain laugh scene in a Final Fantasy game. <clears throat> oh look! Hojo the scientist. With his mouth gaping. He has a very Neanderthalish forehead. Anybody else notice that? Does she know somebody's listening? Yeah, let's follow him, guys. How do they not know that I'm in the building wreaking havoc? I mean, for realsies. Come on. There. Oh, here's Hojo. You gonna unlock that door for me, brah? Cool story. Alright, um, and this next floor is where you want to try to get into a... At least I think you can get into encounters up here. I'm not sure. I, I think so, yeah. But I know it's this floor um, that you encounter the Shin, uh, the soldier third classes, I believe. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Maybe we have to get through all this stuff first. Oh! Cameo! I'm sorry, the, um, oh, I 
What the hell is that? Uh oh. I think we're having a little bit of a meltdown. Well, Tifa's busy staring at the kitty cat slash dog thing. Chinova. <gasps> what is Chinova? I love his. What the f where's its fucking head? This whole thing's stupid. Let's keep going. <laughs> Poor kitty. Sniffle. What did he do to anybody? Oh! Come on, soldiers! Ah, uh, but it's it is something you know I could use. And I believe those are called, um... Moth Slashers? Or... Yeah, Moth Slashers. Oh, that might kill it. Come on! Give me the second one! Really? Oh, we gonna play like that, aren't we? And I stole from the wrong effing one. GG lab. Oh. Actually, this is gonna work out to my favor because I have a boss fight coming up. If I could get this effing armor piece, would like at least one more. Come on! Aww. Fine. Whoops, I'm hitting the wrong button here. You know what? I am just gonna say F it. Come on! Yeah! Alright. GG. Nice one, Barrett. Alright, uh, give me just a sec to put these on. Because I'm gonna be using Tifa and Cloud. Oh, poison materia! Yay! I'm gonna be using Tifa and Cloud for this next scene. Um, I'm gonna try to get this weapon. Now, the soldiers are a bit of a rare encounter, but I really don't want to move forward until I get this freaking sword. Come on, please, 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 please. Yes! Those are the mobs I want. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And keep in mind, after you do the next sequence and do the whole boss fight and whatnot, these mobs will no longer spawn. So this is kind of like your window of opportunity, so to speak. And go ahead and throw a cure out. Come on, Barrett. Come on! Drop for me! Let me steal it, please. M much plays? Darn it! You. Words. Come on. Really? You put me to sleep? Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We cool. Yay, at least he didn't sleep with a stealer. Thief. Come on. Yes! There it is. That's what we want. Did you just bolt... Bolt to me? Oh. Oh, also, good thing to note is uh, if you're asleep... 
and you get hit with magic spells, you don't come out of it. Wong. Come on. Rawr. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, crap. I did not mean to use her limit break. Oh, well, I still have clouds. You gonna die, son. This is such overkill. Such overkill. Alright. And that is why you want it. That is a huge little boost in stats there. Oh yeah, we got the accessory. Throw that on the cloud. Arrange. You know, I might have to edit some of this part out. Alright. Gonna go ahead and save. Well, first, we're gonna use a tent. Where's my tents? There we go. Then we're going to save. Here we go. And here we go. The next boss fight. Eris. Oh, is that her name? What the hell do you want? Uh, we want our white mage back. Give me my white mage. Frivolous? I'll show you frivolous thing. Z. Yes. Emphasis on the Z. Alright, and after this boss fight, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Oh no! Well, I'm not gonna call it right here, per se, but uh, I do need to watch my time on these. Can't you do anything, Barret? Save the white mage! Yay! That's right, because anything can be fixed with a little brute force. Ready? Ready? Here comes Shrekage! Oh, kick his ass! Get him, kitty! Uh oh. It talked? The cat dog talked? Alright, Tifa. Red 13. We're gonna stick to default names. Come on, me bruh. Alright, this boss fight is a little intricate because no matter how many times you kill those effing ads in front, they'll just keep respawning. Yeah, hit him hard! Oh, that damage. Nice. See? Rihanna magic. Oh. Crap. That's fine. We'll just throw a little bolt at him. I had completely forgotten about that mechanic. Um, no point in trying to cast bio on this guy. Everybody, uh, it just heals him. No, don't kill my newest party member! Grr. And we made short work of him. And we get a talisman for all of it. 
Um, alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Normally I don't do this, but I do not want to run over my time frame. Um, I will pick this back up exactly where I left off. Thank you all for tuning in. This is Lab Series, and I hope you enjoyed the show. Take it easy, and uh, see ya!